Hi, and welcome to another podcast from The Motley Fool. I'm Owen Benelak from the Champion Chairs Pro Service, and I have here Maynard Payton from The Motley Fool. He's the editor of The Motley Fool website. And something you may not know about Maynard is he is smarter than Warren Buffett. Maynard <laughs> is the man who believes that Tesco shares are not cheap. Most of us think they are. Maynard, what's, uh, what's your problem with Tesco? Uh, well, I think it could be dead money. I've, you know, I've been looking at the supermarket sector recently. A lot of people, as you say, saying Tesco looks cheap, P of 10, yield of 5%. But uh, I think in the sector itself, there are, there's, a, there's a cases from history where you look back and you think the shares look cheap, but the, uh, the, the supermarkets just don't go anywhere. And I think a bit of a, a value trap. Okay, so could you give us a couple of examples? Of uh, one, one example is across the channel in France, Carrefour, which has had a lot of problems recently. Uh, Carrefour is the uh, Tesco equivalent of France, similar sort of size, similar sort of revenues, similar market position. Nevertheless, issued a, a profit warning in 2008, uh, issued several warnings since then. Profits uh, have fallen heavily since then, uh, and current forecasts are for the, for the current year, Carrefour's profits are going to be 50% down from what they were five years ago. And so is the dividend as well. Okay, so, that's, that's grim, Maynard. Yeah. But they're French. Who trusts the French? I mean, can you uh, well, bring any answers closer to home? Well, one, one answer is uh, Sainsbury's. You must have heard of these. I have uh, now, these were the Tesco's of the 80s. Fantastic growth record in the 80s. All sort of fell apart in the early 90s when the, the Sainsbury's family uh, stepped back from running the, uh, the company. Uh, now, Sainsbury's in 1993 actually made a £900 million operating profit. And it's never since made a greater profit than that. You know, nearly 20 years. So last year it made £700 million profit. It's still to reach its 93 peak. I mean, it's certainly true that if you were getting 5% from Tesco for 20 years, but the share price didn't go anywhere, that wouldn't be the greatest investment, would it? Uh, no, no. I know you're a patient investor, uh, <laughs> Owen, but uh, 20 years of no growth. Uh, Sainsbury's shares uh, have traded between three fifteen four and pounds for the last 15, 20 years. Bar on the odd bit of specu good speculation. I mean, so. the difference I would I would argue with you without going into the into the weeds as our American cousins say about Tesco is Tesco is still the market leader, whereas Sainsbury's was on the back foot. In that uh, well, Sainsbury's was the market leader in the eighties, and it just lost its way. With but the, Tesco the is still the market leader. It's now. still still the market leader because things can change. You've, still, you've got te you've got Sainsbury's, Morrison's, ASDA, Walmart, all powerful competitors, uh, and you know the history. Or at least Carrefour and uh, Sainsbury's is, you know, could be Tesco takes a long time uh, to turn around. I see supermarkets as super tankers. Okay. Uh, with a sort of st in the Atlantic, those sort of large turning circles could take a long time, years, I think, it could take mm. to turn around. So, what, uh, what does Warren Buffett see that you don't see, or is he wrong? I think he might be wrong. Uh, Tesco, Tesco. He bought Tesco in two thousand and six at three pound. I reckon about three pound thirty three. Mm -hmm. Uh, and all he's had since is, is dividends, which is fine. But you know, six years without a capital gain. He bought some more, though, didn't he? he bought he's some bought some more, but I think he's sitting on a loss since then. And uh, remember, it's only a fraction of his common stock portfolio. Maybe 1%, 2% of what he owns is in Tesco. So it's a bit of a, a punt as such. Maybe so, it's a currency uh, play as well. He wants some money out there. Yeah, end. maybe. But the fact is, he lives in Nebraska, in the <laughs> middle of nowhere. And do you think he knows a lot about Tesco stores in the UK? I'm not so sure. No, probably not. Okay, well, there you have it. Tesco shares, possibly not a bargain according to Maynard, are a bargain according to Warren Buffett. Uh, we'll see you